currently COVID-19 is taking over the world. We see MAS reporting job losses, wage cuts, and how these numbers are much worse than previously expected. Even as we are reopening the economy, we are cautious of a second wave and how we may have to deal with at least one more year of the virus. This has greatly disrupted the job search of many graduates and I am affected as well. So enough sad songs, my name is Logan and welcome to my channel. As a fresh graduate, I've been applying for tons and tons of jobs. But I've also gotten tons and tons of rejections. So recently, I was lucky to have a few job offers and I selected the offer that I liked the most. So I would like to share with you some of the advice that helped me through this period and I believe that this will help you as well. Okay, so the first thing is the resume. So a resume is very important since it's the first thing your employer looks at. So here's my resume. My resume is not perfect and it doesn't exactly follow the traditional resume format since I added an entire section by myself. But I find that it works for me and I believe it will work for you too. So it begins with an introduction section where I give a brief intro about myself and highlight some of the potential job scopes and industry I'm looking at. Next, it's pretty much the normal resume format where I have my educational qualifications. As you can see, my GPA is average and nothing amazing. Next, I have work experience followed by competitions and awards and then we come down to the notable side projects. So this is a section which displays your key achievements and key projects undertaken. This is a section which I added in myself as I believe it highlights all the skills in one section which could easily showcase to the employer. For me, I'm interested in analytics and problem solving so that is the main highlight of my section. For you, it may be advertising or marketing and that section can potentially make it easier for employers to look at your skill sets and experience. Next, we have CCAs as well as some additional information and certification, which is the normal resume format. So next, I'll talk about how to make yourself more valuable to the company you're applying for. So one way is through skilling up yourself. During this COVID-19 pandemic, even though we're locked down at our houses for 24 hours a day, we can actually take up a lot of online courses. So an example would be Khan Academy as well as Udemy where you can take many courses at cheap or for free. So for Singaporeans, we can even use SkillsFuture credit as well. So SkillsFutures is how the government incentivizes Singaporeans to upgrade ourselves. And $500 is given to all eligible Singaporeans to take up online courses and upgrade ourselves. So another way to make yourself more valuable to employers is to take up projects. So taking up projects actually demonstrates your problem solving skills and this is a trait which is extremely useful for employers. So for projects, you are free to choose your area of interest as long as it demonstrates your problem solving skills as well as some applicable job skills. So for me, I like programming and I like the stock market as well. So I did a project on stock analysis during this lockdown period. So I added in to my resume and I believe this increases the chances of me to get interviews as well as job offers. So next I'll talk about salary negotiation. So salary is a potentially sensitive topic but obviously everyone would want a higher salary. Most employers also do not mind when candidates argue for a slightly higher salary. This is because they are confident in themselves and know their worth and the amount of value they can bring to the company. But of course, as a fresh graduate, if you're talking about bringing value to a company, no one is going to believe your fluff. So the best way to negotiate for salary is to increase your alternatives. A good way would be to send your application in batches and try to stack the interviews together. At that way, if a company offers you a job, other companies would likely offer you during the same duration as well. You can then make these companies try and outbid each other for you. Usually before a company offers you a position, they will ask you how many places you've applied to 
and which places have actually offered you a position? And which position do you prefer? So the best thing to do in this scenario is not to give a preference but to state that you like all the companies equally and would take remuneration into consideration when making a final decision. This would allow you to potentially negotiate for a higher salary. Alright, so that's it for this video and if you are still here, I would like to give you all a big thank you for watching till the end and don't forget to click like, subscribe as well as share it with your friends. I'll be producing more videos in the future. So see you next time.